Well, the heat wave continues for our area, at least. It's kind of like a never ending cycle. Fortunately, not dealing with any fire danger, but instead right. just insane heat. So I want to check in with meteorologist Robert Sir to find out if we'll get any relief anytime soon. I would love to say that the relief would be here tomorrow, but it's going to take until the weekend, most likely, mm. for that relief to get here. With a That's if a cold front has the strength and power to cross through the area. We'll have to see if that happens. Live look outside to Fayetteville tonight, all lit up. A nice day in Fayetteville. It was a hot one. 94, which is 4 degrees above your average of 90. But look at that overnight low, just 75. That is extremely warm for an overnight low. A live look outside to Fort Smith near the uh, Albert Pike and Kelly Highway intersection 99 so close to the century mark today in Fort Smith, but still four degrees above your normal <clears throat> of 95 tomorrow yet again is going to be another impact day for several reasons. We're going to have that heat and humidity around that will last at least through Friday. But you know, we started to see it today. A few locations with some lower dew points. We're right on the edge of this heat dome and if it wobbles a little bit, then some of those dew points start to come down, but it's still hot. So you're still got to be worried about heat stroke and heat exhaustion out there. We still have a heat advisory in effect for tomorrow, noon to eight for Northwest Arkansas, as well as the River Valley. No one is exempt from the uh, heat and humidity that will still be around tomorrow. Temperatures right now are still uh, very hot in some locations. Boonville's at 90, Paris is at 90, 87 in Bella Vista, Salsa, and, and Spiro. Just sweltering no matter where you look. And here's a look at the pattern that we're in. And we talked about the that heat dome. We're kind of right on the edge of it by tomorrow. And then it kind of shifts a little bit more in our direction here. Really not going anywhere. We're going to see if a front can slide through here Friday into Saturday. And that'll cool us off. And you can see over the next five days, some of the models really showing that possibility a 10 degree temperature difference by the weekend in the River Valley, as well as possibly Northwest Arkansas and overnight lows that are somewhat a little bit more manageable. Heat index values tomorrow still scorching in the uh, teens above 100. Same thing Thursday afternoon as well. Just dangerous and brutally hot lows tonight. Very muggy out there stuck in the mid to upper 70s. And again, a lot of those temperatures won't be reached until five or six in the morning. Rebound tomorrow again back up into the upper 90s and it's going to be a hot seven day forecast for the most part with that slight chance for rain Friday through Sunday, but very, very slight. Nothing that I would cancel your plans over River Valley about the same thing. Century mark most likely tomorrow and Thursday and then we start to slightly cool down as we get into the weekend and into early next week. Stay with us. We've got the latest in sports news coming up with Jordan Black right after the break.